see uh, our today's concept is scoop scoop so generally it's a tool in hadoop ecosystem okay so why we need this scoop see this one we know very well about rdbms rdbms so basically relational database management systems will carry structured data they can store structured data and they can process that structured data sometimes if you are if you are going to get huge amount of structured data if you are going to get huge amount of structured data it is highly impossible to store and to process that much of huge amount of data in this rdbms so that time better you can keep this data back to your hdfs because hadoop can give support for what even structured data also so keeping that data from rdbms to hdfs it is uh, it, it need to have some tool support that tool is what actually scoop similarly to say scoop is an interface in between that rdbms and hdfs so it is just trying to uh, work as a bridge in between those two for either importing data or for exporting that data just let me tell you this one scoop is a tool So scoop is a tool. It is working like a bridge in between RDBMS and HDFS, either for importing data or either for exporting data, either for exporting data. So uh, it seems like what an in interface. Okay. So this scoop also has been built on top of MapReduce. This scoop also has been built on top of MapReduce. scoop also has been built on top of mapreduce so generally scoop is running with that scoop interpreter so we know very well that hadoop can run only map and reduce because it knows uh, the only way to process your data is what with map and reduce so even they are running scoop commands even they are running what scoop commands so in client mission scoop interpreter scoop interpreter will be running when that scoop interpreter is going to be received by that job tracker that job tracker will internally convert that scoop interpreter into what mapreduce map reduce so that's what what we are saying this scoop also has been built on top of map reduce here so by default it is working with four mappers by default it is working with what four mappers by default scoop is working with four mappers so here it is not going to work with what any more reducers so it is not working not working with reducers so as it is not working with reducers so obviously our output will be given directly from that from those mappers so by default as it is working with four mappers definitely you are going to get four mapper output files so means what here here of course it may be running with what map and reduce only but it is running with zero number of reducers but only mappers it is running with so directly output also will be given from those mappers itself okay so this is what basic thing here so apart from this if you can see sir i wanted to if sometimes if my file size is what less than 64 mb or what 64 mb i need not to have four mappers that time i wanted to work with what less number of mappers or sometimes if it is what more than 64 mb block size now also i wanted to decide my own number of mappers so then you can give number of mappers by setting up this you know command by using hyphen m space that number of mappers that you wanted to work with number of mappers that you wanted to work with hyphen m space number of mappers you can give so by using this command you can happily set number of mappers so that it is working so but here we cannot set any more reducers so here basically we need to have some connection with that rdbms here so generally that rdbms can be either oracle or it can be mysql or it can be anything else so it is giving support for importing data either of those you know uh oracular mysql anything it may be so my next thing is here we can import here we can import entire table entire table by using this scoop uh yes by using this scoop 
next we can import part of the table part of the table okay part of the table with where class where class with where class part of the table with where class or with columns class with where class or with what columns class so you can import part of the table also with where class or with columns class next we can even import we can even import all tables from a specific database from a specific database we can even import all tables from a specific database okay so by default if you are going to import any table from rdbms to hdfs so by default it is taking that table name only as what a directory name so all your tables will be created as a directory in hdfs so if you are specifying any target directory name it is taking the target directory name for keeping your output if you are not specifying that then it is keeping you know directly that uh, table name only as what directory name so it is giving you as usually this mapper outputs how many number of mappers you are working with next so it can be used even for you know setting up number of mappers also as we have given that one by using hyphen m space one okay so these are what basic commands even we can export data also so export export a table from hdfs to rdbms okay this also we can do so we will see all these comments okay in next session okay thank you